Hey guys, it's me, Maida Jen, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another video. So right now, it is currently 6.50 in the morning. I just washed my face. I am about to get ready to go to work. I am in at 8.30 in the morning, and I am going to get ready in a certain amount of time, obviously. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit off. I've been trying to fix the lighting situation in my room in here when I'm filming. It worked fine last time, but for some, some weird reason, it's just not functioning now. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm apply some toner. Um, I'm just using this bottle. Um, it's such a nice fancy glass bottle. Um, I just filled it up with the Tony Moly Mochi uh, Ceramide Plumping Toner. And I just use it just to pump it out. It's just that the bottle for the Mo Tony Moly is so big. I like to put it in... Um, and then usually I put it in my little travel spray and I spray it onto myself, but today I decided, well, this time around, I just had just finished this. I just poured it in there and I was just like, we're just going to use this because why not? And then I do use another, uh, toner liquid above my face before this one really is what's in this bottle this is the claire's fundamental ampule mist this is a nutrient rich mist it deeply hydrates it has a dewy complexion and it's a vegan friendly so i did buy this during um amazon prime day it was on sale and it it, um, for the directions, it literally says you spray two to three. Obviously, you guys saw that I sprayed more. And you're supposed to either use the fingertips and rub it into the face, or you can naturally let it just air dry. Um, that's literally what the direction says. This, I don't know if it's made much of a difference in my skin quite yet. I have been using it now twice a day. I was using it just during the day and um, I ran out, like I said, I ran out of this pink drink. So um, now I've been using it both day and night and I don't know yet, you know, like sometimes you got to give it a little bit of time. I know a lot of people tend to want results like right after the first two, three days, but skincare is so like, you gotta wait a couple of days. You gotta wait, you know? Um, but the first serum I am going to use is going to be this one from Coco Kind. It is the Chlorophyll Discoloration Serum. This has 1% alpha arborin for even skin tone and it reduces redness. So for this one, I actually don't use it all over the face. I literally use it in one spot. So this um, serum is specifically for dark spots. Um, it's chlorophyll, which is supposed to help um, with a dark spots spots and discoloration on the face so if you have a lot of redness this is uh, supposed to help neutralize a lot of the redness in your skin um, I'm literally just applying it here I do have a sun spot right here from driving my car was a lemon from the moment I got it guys um, so I when I was 18 years old uh, my dad was like we're gonna go to the dealer and I'm gonna get you a car because I was going to CSUN I was going to Northridge and I didn't live in Northridge I live 45 minutes from Northridge so they came with a decision of okay we need to get her a car so that she can drive home for the weekend because we can't have her stay there every day so yeah my dad was like we need to get her a car so we went in there for a used car and I ended up buying a new car <laughs> Um, which had like 60 miles in it. It was the display, like the model at the dealer. Um, first of all, they said it was a 2008. It was a 2007. Um, second, <laughs> um, it was perfectly fine the first year I had it. Um, and then my visor started cracking. So what happens is I would pull the visor down. And when I would pull the visor down, that halfway in the middle of it would crack. So I had to, I would keep going to the dealer to get it replaced and then my, obviously my warranty expired and 
I stopped going to the dealer and I ended up just letting it hang. It would just hang. It was annoying because you know not the sun wasn't always always the sun wasn't always out and I just left it there. So eventually I just ripped off the visor and I haven't had a visor since. <laughs> so the sun was hitting me and I wasn't very like anal about sunblock back in the day like I am now. So yeah, I got a sunspot. And if you guys hear that meowing, it is Milo. What do you want? Are you going to be a good boy? Are you going to be a good boy? Oh, yeah, you squeezing through the door? Yeah, oh, you squeeze in? That's nice. I kicked them out because I have a plastic bag on the bed. Ay, vas. What did I just say? Milo. Hey. Deja eso en paz. Deja eso en paz. A. Um, there's a plastic bag and he will destroy it. Anything he sees on the floor, anything that falls, he's playing with it. All right, well, let's move on because I still have to do my makeup. It's already uh, 7 o'clock on the dot and I need to be out of here by like 7.45, 7.50 because unfortunately because I got scheduled at 8.30, the, I live in front of a high school and the high school start my low. School starts at 8.25, right in front of my house. So a lot of kids are getting dropped off at 8, 8, between 8 and 8.15. So I have to leave before that. So, yeah. My low! Hey! <laughs> Let's move on. Um, so the next serum I'm going to use is Vitamin This is their Vitamin C Complex Serum. It has a Vitamin C Complex plus Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E. So they do have two Vitamin C serums. They have another one that's more concentrated than this one. Um, this one was just gifted to me and I started using it because, you know, why not? <laughs> So I literally um, just, I used to use the Ola Harrison Truth Serum. Um, and yeah, I, I didn't even finish the bottle, to be honest with you guys. And that bottle was expensive, which hurts me even more. Um, and the reason for it is because of the consistency of that serum. It's like a gel-like type of serum, which this one honestly is also type, it gives you that uh, gel type feeling. Um, yeah, it made my the rest of my skincare not function it would make the rest of my creams or whatever i would apply over pill so i i didn't think it was that one because i was like it's so expensive it's a fancy one it would never do that to me yeah it was that one as soon as i took that out of my routine and i went back to and i just added this one on there instead of the other vitamin c makeup on point um, and the next thing I'm going to use is going to be this from Coco Kind. This is the Ceramide Barrier Serum. So this is a nourishing a daily serum for skin barrier support. If you guys saw my last skincare routine video, I mentioned that this was empty. I didn't have any anymore and I was waiting for it to get on sale. And it finally went on sale literally as soon as I said that this went on sale. So um, now instead of doing three to five drops, I actually do one, two, three 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 <laughs> i do three um three drops i'm trying to make this last this is the bigger bottle out of the two um this serum is mostly so the skin barrier is pretty much any of the scarring you might have on your skin And I usually mostly concentrate it on my cheeks. If you guys ever notice, like when I apply my serums or moisturizers, I usually start here first and then make my way out because this is just where I need the most help. So I concentrate it more here. And yes, I do have <sighs> see marcas right here. I have marks. Um, I went in with one of these. And I went over it more than once, so I cut myself. I had randomly got like two pimples there, and I just... <sighs> it was um, honestly this. Oh, snap. This right here, the 
Coco Kind the Chlorophyll Discoloration Serum. It's so thick, it's so heavy. Like if you use too much of it, it will clog your pores. So be careful with that. And then for my eye cream, yes, I do use eye cream before moisturizer. I know some people like to use eye cream after. But if you've been here before, you already know I always mention this. I like to put my eye cream under the moisturizer because the moisturizer is like that last layer you put it on top of everything you just put and it seals it so i want to seal my eye cream this is the ola Herrickson uh banana bright eye cream and this does have a slight tint to it so when you open it it has like this orange like slight orange tint it doesn't smell like orange it's nothing like the truth serum um if you've used that you know it has like uh it smells like artificial orange um but i really like this eye cream specifically in the mornings because i do use obviously different stuff at night um but i do like this one at during the day because it because of the tint it has it slightly neutralizes my bags so it's like if you were using a color corrector think of it like that so that's the reason why i really 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 like using this and I'm just going to let that settle on my skin for a slightly little bit. And I'm going to go in with the um, Good Light Space of Milk. Is that what it's called? I always forget what this is. Taste the Space Lip uh, lip Milk. Um, this is literally just skincare for your lips. It's not a lip balm. It's not a lip gloss. I mentioned this in my nighttime skincare routine, I believe. And I am pretty much out. But this is a good way to prep the lips before makeup. Okay, and then we're going to go in. And I usually go in like this and I'll have extra over. I rub my fingers together. And I always rub out. In an upward motion all right and then for moisturizer um, which is gonna be my second to last we're almost done step um, it's gonna be this by it cosmetics this is a confidence in a cream moisturizer so this right here has been my ride or die i've i stopped using this for a while and then i started i it went on sale and then i was like okay i'm gonna buy it again um and i bought it again and i have not stopped using it since when i thought my makeup was peeling i almost almost doubted my, this and was like what if it was this what if this is just not working with the rest of my serums you know and i was like but i can't stop using it i still have one more bottle left over what am i gonna do with it i'm gonna donate it i'm like i spent a good amount of money on that <laughs> for me to donate you know And this, I don't know what is in this. I just cannot let it go, especially because I'm getting older. I just feel like that moisturizer just works really well with my mid-30s, 30s skin. Um, maybe when I'm older, I don't know if it'll function the same. I might change moisturizer or a lot of my skincare. But I feel like that specifically is perfectly fine. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply sunblock. So... Like I was mentioning earlier, I thought certain stuff was making me pale. So I started with this sunblock first. This is the Kula, um, the organic Kula Classic Face Sunscreen. This is a fragrance-free version. Um, this is SPF 50. So I started with this one and I was just like, what if this is what's making me pale? So then I bought this one from Sunbum. This is their daily face uh sunscreen it also has spf 50 so now that i know it's not these i just depending on how i'm feeling i'll go with one or the other uh i am gonna put makeup on and i usually would just skip this step and go in with my sun uh my primer that has the sunscreen in it but for purposes of this video we're gonna go ahead and apply this one we're just gonna put this all over the face and as you guys can see it does not leave a white cast 
I know that's been an issue with a lot of like sunblock like sunblocks that people have been trying on they say that it leaves a white cast I don't think this leaves a white cast and also it says that it's non-greasy you guys can see my face already I look a little slimy um and I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit on my face for about five to ten minutes and then I'm gonna start my makeup but this is gonna be it for me and my daytime skincare routine this is literally what I do every morning at 5 a.m when I have to go to work at 6 today was my day off and they asked me to come in because I guess someone called off I don't know what happened whatever the case may be but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like it. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.